I'm driving a truck today, my 89 K1500, and it puts a smile on my face every time I drive it, man. I don't, I don't know what it is about this truck. I just, I just like it. Um, but it does do something that is annoying. The driver's side door lock doesn't work. I can put the key in, turn it left, right, it does nothing. So I have to lock or unlock the truck from the inside. So if I do lock the truck, I have to unlock the passenger side, get in, scoot over, and unlock the driver's side. And that is annoying. So today I'm going to try and fix it. So to start this work, I need to move the panel so that I have access to all the door lock mechanisms. Behind this and this are screws that attach this handle to the frame of the door. So I have to pop them off and take the screws out. Hey, gummit, this brittle plastic. And I'll be a little more gentle with this one. I'm gonna try this pick. I don't know where that thing shot. Well, it shot somewhere in the truck. I'll find it later. It might end up being another junkyard purchase. Based on these screws, it looks like somebody's already been in here. And it looks like this needs to come out too. So there's a fastener here that came out pretty easily. This one took a little more convincing, but I was scared because the truck's so old and the plastic is so brittle. Yeah, there was another fastener right here. I'll show you when I get it all the way off. So I think I have this free. Now I just need to free the buttons. I've seen on similar vehicles where people are able to remove the backside of the connector with just the section that holds the wires and leave the switches. I tried and I couldn't get it out that way. I didn't have enough clearance underneath to free the tabs, but I'll show you what I did do. All right, so it took some patience and a bit of work, but I was able to get one of these switches out. The way I did it was pressing on that section there. So pressing on that there, or pressing down on that such that it releases from the panel, you can separate the switch from the contacts there. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the other two. What ended up working was the fattest flathead screwdriver I could get pressed down. I pressed down on the section right in front of my index finger until it released, I could pull it forward. And there's another matching one on the other side. You do that until you get them both out and then you can wiggle it free. My switches were stuck in there pretty good, but I used my fingers to help out with the screwdriver. And by the end, they were kind of tender. Damn. Sorry, fingers. Getting this piece off was just as nerve wracking. So that little tab or catch underneath the switch, you push it away from the cabin and it allows the whole white piece to slide up and out of this, this trim piece. So after a bit of trial and error and finagling, I figured out a method to get these out that I'm comfortable with and that I'll probably use again. What I did was get my thumb on the tab under here and push away from me, while at the same time putting the screwdriver in here and twisting, and that'll pry the connector up, dislodge it enough such that it can be pulled out. All right, now this bugger is free. Okay, so that looks like the whole panel is free. So I am gonna try and take it out. To free the panel, I had to pull it away from the door such that all the little plastic fasteners that hold it to the door were disconnected and then pull it up. It was easy for me because 
only a few of my fasteners were intact. I'm going to start looking at the lock, because maybe I can fix everything from this side. To do that, I would need to remove the door handle. This bolt can be removed with a 10 millimeter socket. I removed the moisture barrier so that I could get at the mechanisms inside the door. It's deteriorating and I may replace it with plastic later. So after removing the bolt from the outside, you need to get at this one, which is behind the door handle on the inside. This is where ratcheting wrenches come in very handy. Let's see if the two bolts are the same. That way, I don't have to remember which is which. And they are the same. And then I removed the screws for the door latch. I don't think it helped me at all, but at this point, I didn't know where I was gonna end up. And then I wiggled the door handle free. Now that we have this out, we can put the key in and see that it turns the lock just fine. Ooh, that fell off. What I suspect is whatever was attached to this is no longer attached. So I'm gonna look for it in the door. I think I found the issue. So this arm here is supposed to attached to this rusted piece here. But as you can see, it's seen better days. So that little lip is supposed to go into there and be held in by either side of that, that connection there. So what I'm gonna do is see if the local auto parts store has one of these and hopefully it comes with all the parts I need. Well, I didn't have any luck at the local auto parts store, but what I did do is I straightened out this, this piece and I used some pliers to squeeze this tighter. So hopefully that'll work until I either find a good one at a junkyard or can order one offline. But I need to be able to drive this truck today, so let's see if this works. So to put it back together, I have to get this rod which is attached to the lever into that hole that you see there. And then of course, attach this to the back side of the lock. So let's go for it. Since I modified the clip that was attached to the lever that was on the back side of the lock cylinder, I had to use pliers to squeeze it in, but I did get it to work. So I got the rod in the hole, and more importantly, I got this gooseneck rod back attached to the lock cylinder. So hopefully, when I put everything back together, the key will now work. All right, here is the moment of truth. Does the key work now? It's a bit stiff. It does feel like it's working. Locked. Unlocked. Well, for the time being, I have fixed the lock. Well, I'm happy the lock, the door lock works now. Since I'm running out of daylight and it's getting cold, I am gonna hit the mechanisms with a little more WD-40, button up the inside and call it quits. Now that I can lock and unlock the truck with a key, it would be really nice if the lock and unlock button on the inside worked both doors. Currently, only the passenger side works when you press the button. The driver side gets stuck and you have to press it manually. So that, I will tackle in the next video. Bit by bit, I'm gonna try and get everything in this truck working. If you'd like to follow along, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching, take care.